From the day you came into this world, you've been making new acquaintances. You met your parents and all the other family members that share your world. As time went on, you have met other families and made friends with children in your neighborhood and at school. The world is opening up to you. It is a wonderful and exciting time for you. You may recall the story about the little bear who went to town. Inside, outside, and upside down. That little bear is thrilled by all his new experiences. The little bear winds up away from home by himself. That story has a happy ending. Let's see if our story today has one too. Friday, one more day to the weekend. Tad's birthday party's tomorrow. Need a birthday card? Got to remind mom, but first. Milk money? Got it. Sign permission slip? Got it. I studied for the math quiz and science quiz. I could do the addition problems, and I know all the names of the planets. I am going to get two A's. I am R-E-A-D-Y ready. David? David? It is you. How are you? Are you going to school already? Uh, hi. Do I know you? David, I know you. Everybody knows you. You're like the most popular kid around here. I've known you for so many years. Pleased to meet you, Mr. 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 Ree, don't you remember me? Mr. Ree, I know your mom and dad. I just spoke to them a little while ago. Hello, Mr. Ree. As long as you're on your way to school, I could drop you off. How about going for a ride in my car? Gee, I don't know. The bus stop is right down there, and it's almost time for the bus to come. I know that, but wouldn't it be great? I mean, you could be sitting in the car, I'd be your driver, everybody would think how cool that was. I don't know, but it sure would be great to show up at school and have my friends see me get out of the car like I'm someone special. Great then, listen, the door's open, hop in, buckle up, and I'll have you to school in no time. Hey, David! Hey, hey David! Yo, hey, David! Who's that? Oh, my friends, Matt and Smarty Pants. Matt and my father hey, are best friends. Hey. You know them, Yo, don't you? David! David! Hey, David! Yo, David! David, do you have a piece of paper or a pen that I can borrow from your backpack? Thanks. David, who was that? That was Mr. Ray. Who? Matt, that man was Mr. Ree. He's a friend of my mom and dad. Did he tell you that? Yep. What did he want? He said he would give me a ride to school if I wanted him to. What did you say to him? Since he was a friend of my mom and dad, I thought it was okay. I was getting into the car when you yelled to me. Okay, hold on a minute. Hey, Mary, it's Matt. Yeah, I'm down at the bus stop. No, no, everything's okay. I just wanted to know, do you or Dan know any Mr. Ree? I see. No, nothing happened. Um, in fact, I'm gonna send David back home right now, okay? Okay. All right, thanks. David, your mom wants you to go home right now. She's gonna drive you to school. I'm gonna watch you from here so no one else bothers you. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye. Smarty, I have one important question for you. Why do you think that man drove away when we came over here? I don't know. Maybe he had somewhere to go in a hurry. How can you be so smart and so careless at the same time? Come on, Smarty. Matthew! Why didn't he stay and talk to me? I don't know, Matthew. Listen up. Something is very wrong here. What's wrong, Matthew? To be honest, Smarty, something didn't seem right at all. Who was that guy? I didn't recognize him or the car he was driving. If David had gotten into the car with him... Matthew, I don't understand why you're so upset. Really, Smarty? After all the lessons we've gone over, do you remember the word stranger? Mr. Ree, who is he? He said he was a friend of David's father and mother. This man was someone David had never met, had never been formally introduced to, a complete stranger. Just because he said he knew David's parents doesn't mean he really does. I just asked his mom if she knew any Mr. Ree. She doesn't, and she said his dad doesn't know anybody by that name either. But he knew his name. That was a trick to get David to trust him, to be careless. I saw David and only wanted to ask him if he was going to Tad's party. I think that guy was afraid of me, that I might realize he wasn't from around here, that we didn't know him. I would have been very disturbed if David had gone with him in that car. You mean? Yes, Marty, I do. That man was truly a stranger. I know you don't like to hear me go over the stranger safety rules, but it's got to be done. Never talk to strangers. Don't let strangers get too close. Never take a ride from a stranger. Your mom, dad, or other trusted adults cannot be with you all the time. 
You need to be aware to use your noodle, Smarty. What did you write in his notebook? I wrote down the license plate of that car, the kind of car he drives, and its color. Why? I'm going to call the police and report a stranger trying to take a child. This is very serious. I mean, if you're going to call the police, that's very, very serious. I guess David was lucky when we came along. Yes, he was. I don't know who that man was, but I don't think he was a good guy. I think he was trouble. Bad things can happen, even in the daytime. David was very, very lucky. Matt just happened to come by to ask him a question. The stranger in the car did not want an adult to know what he was doing. David must work on his stranger safety skills. A stranger can try to get near you in different ways. If a stranger comes near you in a car, try to think of the car as something scary your parents or guardians have told you to stay away from. Do not talk to the driver. You do not know what the driver of the car wants. It doesn't matter if it is an adult man, woman, or a teenager. Stay away from them. Get to the nearest adult you trust quickly. Remember to R U and run. Safety is an everyday and everywhere skill that must be practiced. On behalf of the Rose Brucia Educational Foundation, this is Tad, hoping that you will be safe.